We are at Garden of the Gods in southernmost Illinois in the Shawnee Forest. And today we're going to go on the observation tra trail. Observation trail. And it's only a quarter mile loop. But there but, are some dangerous cliffs. Yeah. So I have to watch what I'm doing when I'm filming. Exactly. Let's go down that road. <laughs> Hello, faithful people. I'm Orlean. I'm Gary. And we just finished Observation Trail of Garden of the Gods. It is spectacular. So we're not going to take a lot of time to tell you about it. Just enjoy. This is what we mainly came to see was Garden of the Gods. And when we tried to get into the campground, it was full. It's a first come, first serve, no reservations. We thought maybe a Wednesday would be okay. But look at what's going over here. I mean, there's all this too. There's there's so much. This is all south southernmost, they call it. Southernmost Illinois and the Shawnee Forest. It's just we're gonna try to see Burden Falls. We're gonna try to go see Jackson Falls. We are gonna go back up there, but we're staying in a campground right now. Where are we, Gary? <clears throat> we're down here. And this one only had one site left when we got here. And it was also first come, first serve. Thank you. <laughs> and then we were gonna go down to Metropolis tomorrow, which is way down here. So we could see the home of Superman. It may just be a drive through because this weekend is the Civil War reenactment weekend, which we didn't see anything online about that. So it's going to be impossible to find campgrounds, and that's why this campground has a lot of people. We did not expect to see the show of color that we're, good, that we're seeing. Look at this. This is all just in the southern part of Illinois. So this is the last... Last available campsite. Oh my gosh. Not bad. And lots of space between camp sites. Yeah, beautiful. The size of these leaves, my gosh. They're huge. Shower house is right over here. There's a playground. Not that we're going to go on the playground. We're going to go to nature's playground. We're going to get a campsite, but hopefully we'll get a parking spot. And it wasn't 45 minutes. It was last night because it was getting late and it had rained. So um, things were wet. Today would be better. It took us about half an hour. It's only a quarter mile loop, but there's That's these little side shoots here. Scenic turn up. Yeah. <laughs> scenic overviews. Let's see what this one shows. There's a road down below. Watch where you're stepping. Mm. Yeah. 
That's why Gary's walking behind me. <laughs> he, can, he can divert me from falling off. This reminds me a little bit of Devil's Lake State Park in Wisconsin. With all the places you can hike in the bluffs and on the rocks. Oh, this is pretty. It is windy today. Hope we don't blow off. Yikes. <laughs> oh. Woo. Dust. Yep, I see a camel. <laughs> oh, how do we get down there? Helps to stay on the trail. Take this one side thing here. Let's see what we can find back here. Other people have done it. We're going off the loop again. That tree has seen a lot of wind. Okay, we will not go down that way.
little crowded. We'll have to wait. A lot of people here for a Thursday. <laughs> I sure how to do this. There's the camel's head.
back to the parking lot. Whoever would have thought an armadillo would be in Illinois. You're lost, little buddy. Better head south. Want to ride along? <laughs> Miles gravel. Yep. Boy. We're on our way to Burden Falls. And it did not say that part of the road was paved and or most of it was not. And beyond this is two other sightseeing areas. Um, one is Jackson Falls. And the other is Bell Springs. And they're both down this road as well. But Burden Falls is closer. We'll see how far we go. We're surprised at how many people live down this road. And this is not something you'd want to come down with a big RV. Maybe a short, short class C. Oh, whoa, ew, man. Um, maybe a B, class B <laughs> van or van camper. A truck camper. Ah, yeah. This is narrow, bumpy. ATV territory here. Yeah, this is, wow. But I am surprised at how many people live on this road. This is all part in the national, this is all in the, oh, ow, oh. <laughs> Shawnee National Forest. All the commentary. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, whoa. Oh, but it's gorgeous. It is so pretty. I'm getting a reflection. Oh my goodness. Well, we are here. We are the only ones here. <laughs> And we have zero cell service with Verizon or with U.S. Cellular. So this is going to be interesting. Gary's checking out the information here. You can go camping here, but it's uh, primitive camping. Okay, so here's where we are. Uh-huh. Where's the waterfall? It's right here somewhere. Oh, you can kind of hear it. I don't think that's the wind. Right. Okay. All right, well, let's we'll see what we can find. We're wondering if this is the riverbed and that's where the falls are for the one set of falls. There's two, two different places to see waterfalls here. And there's no water. And there's no water. But that certainly looks like it could be, and it's connected going up to the right there was another flat area with a smaller drop-off, like a falls. They said you could see it from the parking lot. But they dammed it up. And there's definitely a place down there where, you, where water would flow. Huh. Maybe that's why nobody's here. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't it set us open year round. It is a beautiful area. Okay, well, we'll just walk for a bit here and see what we find. But that might be it. it looks like there was water kind of pooled down there. I think that's what that is. Could be. Interesting. Oh, that would have been awesome if they had been the falls. <laughs> but maybe it's still up ahead. The trail here is supposed to be moderately challenging. So we brought our walking sticks this time. 
don't know what moderately challenging is. It just depends on who writes the, the trail information. <laughs> we have been on easy trails that had some challenges, and then we've been on moderately challenging ones that were pretty easy. So I don't know. We'll see. Well, this is the trail. Hmm. Yeah. What are you thinking? I'm thinking the water's gone. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. What do you think about keep going? I think you're right about the waterfall being back there because that just it's, makes sense. And yeah, it said you could see it by car. They lowered the water level for some reason and got to put it in the turf for sure. Might have been a drought time here too. This is not paved in case you can't tell. This is this is rock. We are walking on rock. Ooh, burrs. Don't need burrs. Gotta be watching for poison ivy and poison oak and I'd like to see some deer. Uh okay, well. Hmm. Just more walking in the woods. How far Walk are we going to keep going, dear? This is good enough for me. It's good enough? Okay, well. All right. You know, I'm sure in the next three miles there'll be some fascinating stuff to see. But <sighs> don't fear any water. Don't either. I just hear a lot of wind. Hmm. So, much for that. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna play chicken or smart, however you want to look at it. And we're not gonna risk this because we don't know. We know it's about three and a half miles back to the Twin Falls, but we don't even know if this is the right trail. Well, there's no water. <laughs> And if there's no water, right, there wouldn't be anything coming off the Twin Falls. So we're going to just head back on that long gravel road. <laughs> that bouncy, long gravel road. I don't remember how many miles it was back here. Do you remember? Three and a half. Three and a half miles on gravel road. Mm. Seemed longer. <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, well, maybe it's like the waterfalls in Montello, Wisconsin. You know, they turn them on in the spring and shut them off in the fall. <laughs> Those are not natural falls. Huh. Now, south of here, and this is why it could be just drought conditions here, too, in just northern Kentucky, because we're in southern Illinois, northern Kentucky down by Paducah and in that area the high winds today are causing it to be a fire watch. They're concerned about fire watches today and tomorrow. We're a ways from there but we were going to go through Paducah on our way south and now we might be changing our route. Pretty sure this is a riverbed, and the falls go over that, and part of it goes under the road and flows through here and 
goes over that cliff. That's our story and we're sticking with it. <laughs> if we keep going on that road, which we're not going to do, that takes us to Jackson Falls and Bell Springs. And we're not going to do that. All right. Well, losing light. Well, this is Burden Falls that you didn't get to see. And we just saw a gal coming down who had been hiking around the area for a while. She said that because of the drought, the waterfalls are not waterfalling. No water. <laughs> at the campground we're at, there's a trail that goes around the whole lake. I thought this would be a good place to end this. So we made it back. <laughs> we're back at the campground. We found water. We found water. <laughs> Not a waterfall, but we found water. And yeah, beautiful day. Oh my gosh, hope you enjoyed that. We sure did. And we've been looking at the map and the brochure and there's so much more to this area of Southern Illinois that we had no idea about. We've never heard anybody talk about it. The Shawnee National Forest is massive. It's, yes. Yeah. Yeah. More than you can see in a day. Yep. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. And then next to it, a little bell is going to pop up. Ring the bell and you'll be notified every time new videos come up. Check out our Facebook page, Roads of Faith, for other features that we don't put in our videos. And until next time, God, God bless. bless.